FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. I consider myself to be a pretty serious bear hunter. I've hunted bears all over the place. I love bear hunting. I mean, whether whether it's uh, in Canada or whether it's in the States, whether it's hunting dogs or whether spot and stalk or, or bait hunting, I don't care. I love bear hunting. I love bears. I love the country that bears live in. and. Uh, Alberta has always been one of those places that I've always wanted to bear hunt in, but I've never had a chance to do so until now. The way this trip came about is Jansen Jones, who's with FreedomMunitions.com, told me about a brand new ammunition that they're coming out with called the Boar Buster. Both Jansen and I couldn't think of a better place to come or a better animal to try it out on than a big boar black bear. This is the first time I've ever hunted in Alberta and uh, I can't believe how luck would have it. You know, we come up here, uh, arrive, get to the hotel and then uh, bad news. There's a bad disaster north of us about 200 miles. This is absolutely horrible. Once Chance and I met up, we loaded up at the hotel. Dale got us in the pickup, and we were off for about a two-hour drive to camp. You guys been watching the news with all this wildfires going on? It's quite a ways north of us right now, but, uh, and it's headed to, to the east, which is going out of the province, so it shouldn't be a concern. We don't have any smoke in our area right now. Hunting's been good. My name is Dale McKinnon. I run a trophy whitetail and black bear hunting operation here. I've been hunting this, uh, this area up here in northeastern Alberta for more than 30 years. Alberta is a great place to come bear hunting. Uh, we really have a tremendous habitat here in Alberta for, for black bear. Uh, a lot of uh, boreal forest, uh, you know, right from farmland to ranch land, uh, woodland, which really has uh, uh, created an uh, exceptional population of black bears. The very first thing we did when we got here, besides unloading, we took our rifles, headed to the range, just to make sure our zeros were still on. Warbuster Ammunition is a project that I created last year when I was thinking about my college days hunting hogs in Texas with an AR-15. I really wanted a round that was optimized for the AR pattern rifles, but it also hit hard and crushed bone. Warbuster features in 223 Remington a 64 grain bonded performance bullet, and in 308 Winchester a 168 grain bonded performance bullet. These bullets are optimized for punching and penetrating thick hide and crushing bone. It makes them ideally suited for hog hunters and bear hunters. Now both of us are shooting 308 Winchester calibers and after taking a few shots at the range, we both knew our zeros were on. It was time to head to the stand. All right, boys. Come on, we're on. See ya. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx. 10X high performance hunting gear. Legendary Arms Works. Sightmark. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. And Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. We're in Alberta, Canada field testing our new Boar Buster 308 Winchester 168 grain bonded performance ammunition. Alberta is known for big black bears and we're going to see what we can find while we're up here. 
What makes Alberta so special for the black bear hunter is the limit, number one. I mean, the limit is two bears per person. The next thing is the population of bears up here is incredible. And the reason why is because residents really don't hunt black bears up here. The only people that basically hunt black bears are non-residents. And the numbers of bears that you will see on a sit are incredible. Our hunting area up here in Alberta is very thick. The ride in was really rough. We had about a 30 minute ATV ride just to get into the area we we're gonna hunt. And it was really remote. It's really thick stuff up here and it's swampy. One thing we needed to have is light equipment and a good rifle sighted in for less than 100 yards. The shorting is fast and furious. These bears are coming in from all directions and the terrain is really thick. So one thing I wanted to have was a really light rifle with a low power optic. Well, it's day one up here in Alberta. It's really windy. We're about 200 miles southeast of this uh, massive wildfire. We'll see what shows up. All of our bait sites are basically set up uh, in the same way. Uh, we take a, a good number of uh, archery hunters, uh, muzzleloader hunters, rifle hunters, so all of those bait sites are set up so that we can put in any type of hunter. And you can see for bait, we've got a beaver carcass hanging out there. It's not very appetizing to look at or smell for that matter, but the bears love it. It draws them in literally from miles around. Uh, stands are, are, are really uh, mostly uh, comfortable lock-on stands, uh, but we can accommodate uh, ladders and tripods and stuff for people with limitations. One of the big things I want to recommend to people that are hunting for bears, so you're going to do so more than likely out of a tree stand, please bring a fall restraint device. I've known too many guys that fall out of trees because they're not wearing one and they've gotten hurt and some of them even dead from it. So get a good safety restraint device and use it. This is an unbelievable thick setup out here. I can't see but about 30 yards. And there's all kinds of bear sign down below me. The conditions are bad though, really bad. We're gonna have to sit it out a few hours to see what happens as it gets close to dark. You can see that reconyx. I've got actually lag screwed to the tree right there in a little metal box. Uh, past few years we've introduced the use of uh, game cameras at our bait sites and uh, it really helps with knowing exactly how many bears are coming in, uh, which is your target bear, so that we can uh, move our hunters and get them in a situation where uh, we can be successful. That first night, uh, I gotta admit, the conditions were not too good, and the bear activity was zip. We set out in some stands that looked like the activity ought to be awesome, but it turned out the bears were a no-show. Where are the bears, Mr. Squirrel? Well, you're friendly. Well, that's typically the way bear hunting is. I mean, you can be sitting on a very active bait and then for some reason, like somebody just flipped a switch and it shuts them off. But consequently, somebody can go turn the switch on and the next day it's a different story. It's day two, Alberta, Canada. We just got in the stand or set up. Hopefully, we're gonna see some activity tonight. Day one, pretty, pretty bad. Didn't see anything. I think tonight's gonna be the night, so we'll see what happens. Keith Warren set up about five and a half miles south of here. Flying solo. I wish him luck. I have a feeling we're both gonna see some stuff tonight. We'll see what happens. So Jansen wound up heading to the exact same stand that he was at the evening before where he saw nothing and take a look at what happened.
Now, meanwhile, I was sitting in the same stand that I had sat in the previous night, and the bears were on the bait there too. But while no shooters were showing up at my stand, Jansen's luck was about to change. Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Nemo Arms, Legends Ranch, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite Binary Reactive Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. Greg is from Salt Lake City. He says, hi Keith, I have a question about ballistic tip ammo. Why do you not like it for big game hunting? My rifle loves ballistic tips and it's hard for me to not want to use it when hunting for deer and elk. Please help me understand your reasoning. Greg, the reason I don't like using ballistic tip for anything really except for thin skinned animals is because it's not designed to use on thick skinned game, period. What I would recommend when you're hunting for thick skinned, thick bone game, use a load that is designed to perform on that type of an animal, like the boar buster when it comes to deer and elk, hogs, bear, the boar buster performs greatly. Now, a ballistic tip, I'm not taking away ballistic tips. Uh, they do fly well, they do very well on thin skinned game and exceptionally well on targets, but they are not designed for thick skinned game. I'm in Alberta, Canada with Jansen Jones from Freedom Munitions and we're hunting black bear. We're halfway through our second day and Jansen has already had an encounter with a nice big boar. Meanwhile, back at my stand, the bears are putting on a show. Typically, spring bear hunts are a week long, and I like that because uh, I don't want to get in any hurry to shoot a bear. And typically, I wait to the last, last, last to shoot a bear because I like watching bears. And who wouldn't like watching? I mean, just take a look. When you see them come in, they get there, they got black eyes, and they walk right underneath your stand and look up at you. They look at you with those eyes. And you think, does he have some kind of mischief in mind, or is he just trying to figure out what you are? But it's always kind of one of those iffy deals. You think maybe you got one that's got a bad attitude, and you don't want to have to shoot one in self-defense. Alberta is known for its big black bears. And one thing our guide told us was that if we shot a bear, we'd want to stay put in the stand and hang around all day because the chances of another one coming in were really likely. Turns out that's exactly what happened. On day two, I took my first bear around 7.30 and he was a monster. I stayed put because sure enough, about 30 minutes later, two more bears rolled in. And then at 9.15, a big old tank started cruising down the hill, and he was a monster. We 
are on day two, and we saw seven bears throughout the course of the day. We got in the stand around five o'clock, saw our first bear around 6.30, and then it got really interesting about 7.30. We saw three bears come in, they circled the area. We saw another big bear come down the hill, and I shot him. We decided to sit in the stand and watch these other bears to see if there's any more activity. And sure enough, just before dark, a monster looked like a tank rolling down the hill. A big black tank came down, gave me a shot opportunity on his quarter and shoulder. I took it. He went to the left. It's finally time to go recover the first bear, and we'll go see if we can find the second bear. It's a nice looking bear. Uh, here he is, my first. Alberta black bear, and he is a doozy. Really got a really nice coat, furred out well. He's got a block of a head. Looks like something I'd use to build a house with. He is a house. Awesome up here in Alberta with Dale McKinnon Outfitters and Guiding Service. Well, found the second bear. He was about 50 yards from where I took the shot. It's really thick up here in Alberta, at least where we're at. So we had to get in here with a quad to come recover this bear, but he is a giant. He is a monster boar. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com, Liberty Safe, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Castle Rock Outfitters, and OpticsPlanet.com. The High Road will be right back. What an amazing night we had last night. It was day two of our Alberta black bear hunt, but we had bears all over us from start to finish. We saw the first big one roll in around 7.30. Shot him right behind the shoulder, he dropped. We waited and waited, we knew not to get out of the stand. We were told to sit around and another big one rolled in just before dark. Took him out, got the recovery, but I wanted to make sure you all got to see how nice and big these black bears are up here in Alberta. If you've never been bear hunting, it's a feeling unlike any other. Black bears have no natural predators, rolling through the woods, circling your area, climbing trees. You really gotta stay on your toes and stay alert. There's no falling asleep in the tree stand when you're black bear hunting, and the next thing you know, you're gonna wake up with a bear in your lap. It's really a rush, and it's why it's my favorite animal to hunt in all of North America. One of the really nice things about hunting black bears in Alberta is you have a two bear opportunity. So it was a great place for us to test our new Boar Buster 308 bonded performance projectile against black bears. The field trial proved to be really successful. As you can see here, I took two seven footers, one shot each, no problem. All right, before and after shots, we got freedommunitions.com's Boar Buster ammo, 168 grain bonded performance bullet. That's what the ammo looks like to begin with, and that's after. So before and after. So far I've been very impressed with the new Boar Buster ammo by Freedom Munitions. And I have folks ask me all the time, well, what is it about Freedom Munitions that you like the most? Well, number one, uh, their ammunition, I mean, is the best priced ammo that you can find, period. They'll deliver it right to your doorstep. But more importantly than that, the people that work for Freedom Munitions are special people. They're knowledgeable about the product they sell and they value the customer. And let's face it, what makes a great company even better is the people. Now I want to talk about Jansen Jones for a second. Jansen Jones isn't just your typical corporate guy. Jansen Jones is one of us. He's a hunter, he's a shooter. He's one of the kind of guys that uh, he lives and breathes this stuff. Yeah, he was instrumental in the development of Boar Buster ammo and the development of a lot of ammo over at Freedom Munitions. But the thing about Jansen is, uh, yeah, he's a great hunter, but he's a phenomenal shooter. He's a world-class three-gun shooter. I've been shooting three-gun and action shotgun competitively for the last nine years of my life. And one thing that I've noticed, that that skill set has transcended directly into hunting. Specifically, when it comes to making quick, accurate shots, when the animal only presents a very narrow window of opportunity. And what I found on this hunt is being able to take my quick shooting capabilities from three-gun and applying it to taking down these two black bears worked perfectly. I often get asked, what makes a good big game hunting round? 
I respond with, what game are you after? I like to match the bullet to the animal in question. So in the case of hunting bears, I like to have a tough bonded bullet. If I was going after thin skin game, medium sized, I'd like a good bullet like an Amax or an Acubond or a Partition. Really, the goal is to match the animal with the bullet and you're gonna be successful downrange. Freedommunitions.com is the world's largest online direct-to-consumer ammunition manufacturer. We don't have distributors or dealer networks. What that means for you as the consumer is we'll save you 20 to 40%, which means you're gonna get more trigger time on the range. Freedommunitions.com carries ammunition for all kinds of shooters, whether you're a guy that likes to go to the range, make noise, all the way to the professional competitive shooter and everything in between. So whether you're looking for training ammo, competition ammo, self-defense ammunition, cowboy action ammo, or hunting ammo, freedommunitions.com is your online destination for all things shooting and ammunition related.